iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies now what we are going to see is that uh, can we can we eliminate certain dominated strategies because what we have learned from the earlier class is that any rational player will not play any dominated strategy any rational player will always play a dominant strategy right so first of all we have to check whether dominant strategy exist if it does not exist then we have to check whether dominated strategy exist and if dominated strategy exist we have to eliminate it step by step right so we will uh, uh, write it like this please uh, write alongside consider a game player 1 has two strategies player 1 has two strategies which are what up and down player 2 has three strategies uh yeah which are left middle and right so you guys have player 1 up down left middle right player 2 so 10 1 2 0 1 0 3 0 1 Two zero. So this is the case, right? Okay. Ah, uh, so can we find out any dominant strategy? Let me just check. Can we find out any dominant strategy? So if, we'll do it very quickly now. If player two plays L, one is better than zero. So U is better than D. If player two plays M, one is better than zero. Okay. If player two plays R, two is better than zero. No. So. uh you do not have any strictly dominant strategy for player 1 so do we have any strictly dominant strategy for player 2 2 is greater than 1 1 is greater than 0 okay but is here 2 is greater than 0 but 3 is greater than 1 so you do not have any strictly dominant strategy right you do not have any strictly dominant strategy uh, so for player 1 and you cannot even find out any dominated strategy strictly dominated strategy for player 1 right so let let us just write our findings for player 1 neither up nor down is strictly dominated is strictly dominated uh, uh, so but supposedly i mean for example uh, and why why do we say that there is no strictly dominated strategy here so in case of the player 2 is going to play left right then u is better if player 2 is going to play m u is better if player 2 is going to play r then uh, d is better so there is no strictly dominated do one if there is no dominant strategy to yahan pe dominated bhi nahi hai right okay for player 2 however for player 2 however what happens now if you if you compare this m is better than r m is better than r right so for player 2 r is dominated by m for sure for player 2 please write uh, r is strictly dominated r is strictly dominated by m one thing right so if you know that r is going to be strictly dominated by m then any rational player will not play r that is a dominated strategy 
right so player 2 being rational <laughs> will not play r will not play r right player 1 knows that player 2 is rational player 1 knows that player 2 will not play r right uh, so he can we can actually emulate r from the strategy space right so if player 1 knows that player 2 is rational then player 1 can eliminate can eliminate r from player 2's strategy space right so player 1 knows that player 2 is not going to play r so we can eliminate strategy r right so the game is going to become like this now player 1 has two choices u and d player 2 has two choices now l and m sorry and we have eliminated R. So here you have 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 3, 0, 1. You can see this. Uh, now if you look at it, so now check for player 1. This 1 is better than 0, 1 is better than 0. So for player 1, D is a dominated strategy, right? D is a dominated strategy. And player 1 will not play D. So we can eliminate D now. Right. Uh, now in this reduced matrix, D is a dominated strategy. Please write. D is strictly dominated by you. for player 1 right uh, so if player 1 is rational he will never play d right and there is a meaning that we are writing. So player 1 is rational and he will never play D. Player 2 being rational knows that player 1 is rational and he will never play D. So we can eliminate D. So these lines are important. Uh, that is, I mean, in paper you may not write that much, but you should know what is happening behind the scenes. If player 2 knows, that player 1 is rational right and player 2 knows player 2 also knows that, that player 1 knows that player 2 is rational player 2 knows That player 1 knows that player 2 is rational
so we can eliminate uh, so we can eliminate d from player one's strategy space right uh, so we can eliminate that and we are left with only this player one will only play you player two has two choices l m n l and m so it is one comma zero one comma two so naturally player one is only going to play you so player two will get two by playing m and zero by playing l so naturally he will play m right uh, so now l is strictly dominated by m for player 2 leaving u m player 1 plays u player 2 plays m <clears throat> as the outcome of the game as the outcome of the game and this process when you are eliminating the dominated strategy this is this process is called iterative elimination of dominated strategy this process is called iterative <clears throat> elimination of dominated strategies right of dominated strategy so here equilibrium which is coming after the iterative elimination of dominated strategy which you also call iterative elimination of or iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies right i.e. SDS iterative elimination of strictly dominated strategy and one more thing you will uh, one more thing you will never ever write one comma two as the equilibrium you will always write the strategies so u comma m u is for the first player m is for the second player you will write like this right so i hope this was useful for you uh, right thank you beta